Hi guys. In today's video, I'll just be showing you briefly how you can connect to the QuiverQuant API. I will then download some congressional trading data and do just a little bit of brief analysis uh, with that data. But what you want to start by doing first is, as you can see, pip installing QuiverQuant, importing QuiverQuant. What you'll need to do next is have access to a key for the API. Um, for those of you that are interested, you can go to api.quiverquant.com and sign up for a key there. If you use the code Twitter, uh, you will get a one month free trial, which is pretty cool. Um, so you can, yeah, read the key in. Uh, once you run this cell that I'm writing out here, uh, you should be connected to the API. And then I'll show you how you can call some of the different endpoints. Um, like I said, today we'll just be looking at some of the congressional trading data, but there's quite a few other endpoints um, in the future, I'll probably be looking to do some videos corresponding to some of these other endpoints. So let me know, in fact, if there's any of the other data sets that you would like to see covered from the perspective of the API, and uh, I'll work on work on those videos. So I should note that the endpoint will only return a thousand rows of data unless you set the parameter recent equal to false, and then you can return all of the historical data from this particular endpoint. Um, but so yeah, as you can see here, this is what the API will automatically return by default, which is just a pandas data frame showing the the trade data, pretty much the transaction date, the filing date, the, the stock that was traded, the representative. Um, so what I'll be doing next here uh, is just writing a little bit of code, like I said, that will download price data for each ticker in the data frame, but I'm going to first limit it to trades made only uh, in 2023. But what this code here will do is connect to uh, the Y Finance library, which is a pretty cool library. It's completely free, um, and it basically just has uh, a lot of stock data, like stock price data and whatnot. So yeah, like I said, what I'll do is download price data for each of the stocks in the data frame and what I will then do is essentially try to estimate a return on the trade for each trade in this data frame, right? Again, just from trades made in 2023. Um, and what I'll do from there is then just uh, a little bit of analysis looking at uh, which trades have been the most successful, which trades have been the least successful from both a positive and negative return perspective. Um, so I'll probably just uh, speed up the video a little bit from here on out while I finish up writing up this code. I won't go too much into depth here, mostly just because uh, this code is pretty straightforward, but also because I imagine that uh, most of you will probably want to write your own uh, backtesting tools, like I said, or trading algorithms. And so, uh, yeah, I just won't go too much into depth, but uh, you can always pause the video um, and take a look at the code and uh, if, you're, if you're interested in copying along. So go ahead. So just to clarify, I'll, I'll basically be using each transaction date from each row as a start date and then using the most recent date as an end date uh, and returning closing price data from the Y Finance library to create a, a return on trade column, uh, which I'll add to the data frame, uh, which you can see here. And now you can sort the data frame uh, from the return after trade column and also isolate the data frame into both just purchases or just sales. From there, uh, you can, of course, recognize uh, representatives who have, have made uh, well-timed trades. And I'll be doing a little bit of that over the next minute or so um, of the video. But uh, for the most part, I, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, please do, like I said, let me know in the comments uh, if you would like to see some other API tutorials like this from the perspective of, of other uh, data sets or or endpoints. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have a great day.